Hello, my name is Matthew Ellison. We're in Burgos, Spain, for the European HD Summer Camp, and we have around 40 young people from eight different countries attending a week long camp which provides support and education and fun. Part of camp is getting away from what's happening at home so they can gain a better understanding of HD to help them cope with HD in their lives and also plan for the future and also we provide support for young people who need it and they can also have a huge amount of peer support here. Dass man junge Menschen mit anderen Situationen kennenlernt. Und dass man aufgeklärt und informiert wird, aber auch Aktivitäten hat, um den Ausgleich zu finden. Und man lernt auch andere Nationen kennen und um weiß auch dann, wo junge Leute welche Unterstützung finden. So today we do the team building in the morning activities at different various stations around Burgos. It's a fantastic way for young people to have some fun, but also uh, feel more comfortable at camp. In the afternoon we were looking at the Enroll HD study and the family history aspect of that, which uh, involves questionnaire and looking at each individual's family history of HD, how far they can see back into their family history, and that's, that's very important for research to get a better understanding of how HD works. The funding for its camp and the two previous camps have come from the European Youth in Action programme and also from the local HDAs, the Huntington's Disease Associations of the countries who send young people. The plan for the future is to try and develop local level youth services for young people in their own countries. As much as the camp's important, it's more important to have local level services that people can use when they really need them. Man fühlt sich nicht alleine, sondern ist in einer großen Gemeinschaft. Und es ist einfacher, sich gegenüber jungen Leuten zu öffnen. Und man lernt neue Perspektiven kennen. It's absolutely vital that these events continue to happen, otherwise young people are going to remain in isolation and we need to break that barrier down. <laughs>